took one baby half a head off the joint. <laughs> one little half a baby. Look how small, look like how short I am. I weigh 130 pounds, dude. That means nothing, bro. <laughs> don't, don't lie about your weight in front of us. We're all friends here. But everybody give it up for Anthony Marcus, everybody. Else. We have someone up to the stage. We have Brian O'Shea. Let's hear him from the last one. You guys seem pretty cool. Um, you ever been to a, like a public uh, pool? I was trying to improvise right there. Dude, that's fine. Oh, dude, awesome. I follow, I mean, no disrespect when you hold the microphone, yeah. hold the cone, not the ice cream. Oh. I swear to you, it'll make a million times difference. I did not mean to cut you off, but we can't hear you back here. It's just marvelous. Yeah. It's not nice this fucking shitty bike. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it, man. I'll try to fucking work on that. But, uh, you ever get so high you feel like Biggie Smalls are out the confidence? So no reason to breathe weird and shit? <laughs> that seems like a lot of fun. I don't feel like I'm going to some heroin later, but. Whatever. I was talking to my black friend about sex. I was like, yeah, I like missionary. He's like, that's not weird, dude. Just don't be short stroking the whole time. You gotta throw in a few long strokes. And I realized there's a whole version of intercourse that doesn't involve a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Why? Why? It's a joke, though. Oh, man. <laughs> Sounds like a deep thought, dude. It came out. The hooker's gonna bang like this. It's fucking white, dude. These fucking white corporate looking guys got a confidence, man. They got herpes and shit, man. <laughs> My name is Brian O'Shea. So, the kids at school used to be really cool. They're like, your initials are BO, faggot. <laughs> You guys seem like a lot of fun, though. Seriously, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we always got any of that fentanyl free coke. <laughs> oh, man. This guy likes fucking legit, dude. Are you praying over there, dude? Just a fucking Muslim, fucking five times? <laughs> Just fucking, fucking meditate, dude. Just really knock out the park, bro. Just fucking professionals. Professional, he's a big, tall, fucking <laughs> ants motherfucker. Professional, everything he does, dude. Can't lose, dude. Look at him. One of these bitches be fucking around, dude. No problem. Professional. Big booty bitches be tripping sometimes. No? He has ice cream. <laughs> Oh, that I was holding it on the wrong. <laughs> fuck that one up. Aw, oh, man. You like fucking sex and shit, dude? <laughs> God, I hate that one. <laughs> Where did you come from? Man? You just fucking wandered in there off the street? Some sort of meth addiction? It's <laughs> a fucking problem, man. My grandmother died. Her hair with a shotgun. But you guys seem like a lot of fun, seriously, man. What if there's fucking shitty microphone in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Starbucks are pretty cool, man. You know why? Because they got their fucking private bathroom. <laughs> See a lot of weird fucking shit, man. man. Live in that motherfucker. Rent's high, you know what I mean? Hey, you know when you meet someone new, you get that butterflies in your stomach, and then uh, you get released from prison early, and you're like, what the fuck? 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 Dude next to me is like, yo fam, how about your bowl? So I didn't say nothing to him the rest of the time we're in there. He started talking about dick in your mouth. <laughs> Seriously, man, if anyone wants to hang out later, plenty of activities to choose from.
So I had to tell him about that time I blew a dude in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a lot of fun. Seriously, dude. What the fuck was it? I don't know. Dude. That's fun. My grandfather's got AIDS. He'd come over to his house and help him out. You know what I mean? He's got this HIV issue he's trying to throw up. What the fuck is wrong with you people, dude? You never had sexual intercourse before? Yeah. Shit happens, man. My friend Jimmy fucking likes crack. But he's always fucking bogus, dude. We'll go out on these adventures without me, dude. Get stabbed in the neck and almost die. Because I kind of like hanging out with crackheads, dude. I want to crack them and smoke weed while they crack, smoke crack with prostitutes. Seriously, man, if anyone wants to hang out later, man. <laughs> Family's pretty legit, dude. Yeah. Just seen the last Thanksgiving, man. We fucking took one bust it out some fucking. I don't know, dude. Some weird fucking exotic form of crystal, dude. It was fucking awesome, dude. We got freaky, you know what I mean? I don't know, I just made that up. Or improvising, yeah. All right, I think I should fucking stop, maybe. Kind of run the light on purpose. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I thought you were gonna say you stuck some quartz up your ass or something. Like I almost thought you were gonna stick some fucking quartz up his ass. You should I'll go stick some quartz up your ass before I hang out. Everybody give it up for Brian O'Shea. I like it. Give it up for Bear Quadabong. He loves rocks. Give it up for Bear Quadabong. <laughs> Like, legitimately, I'd probably hang out with you, but I'm taking my own car. <laughs> like, that's the first rule, is you never get in another hippie's car. <laughs> that's a good rule. Uh, you guys, I've fucked up so many, like, legitimate relationships with women.